Hello everyone, welcome to Amsterdam, welcome to the end of day one. If you want to see spoiler-free day one action, stop watching this now. <laughs> okay, so Rich Hagen, Brian David Marshall with you. We're gonna tell you what happened here on day one of the World Championship. First day of five at Worlds Week, we had 16 of the best players. Uh, BDM, take us through what happened. Well, we wa first thing we did is we watched these players draft Modern Masters. We got a chance to do uh, draft viewers and draft features with both of the tables. They, they drafted back-to-back uh, -back instead of concurrently. Mm -hmm. And we got to watch uh, Josh, Josh Leighton. Shutter Leighton and Yuya Watanabe mm -hmm. both draft uh, their decks and their take on the format. Uh, of Modern Masters, mm. of, you know, very, very exciting. One of the most skill testing draft formats, uh, you know, heralded as among the best draft environments by many connoisseurs of draft. Indeed. Um, and then uh, and then we've got to see three rounds of standard. Okay. Now, Josh Hunter Layton thought he had the best deck at the table. He began one and two. Yu Watanabe thought, well, maybe not the worst. He called his deck a five. A, a, a five. And he went one and two as well. So they, the player of the year and the reigning world champion were behind the ball after the three rounds of draft. Let's take a look, though, after six rounds, which is the halfway mark of the Swiss on the big board behind us at exactly what we're looking at. So here is the master scoreboard behind us for you to take a look at. And there you are on your screen. At five and one, it is a three-way tie. And that is because in the last round, Brian Kibler did arguably the rest of the field a favor right. by pulling back the runaway leader, Reed Duke. And Shahar Shenhar also won his last round, so a three-way tie for the lead. Duke, Kibler, and Shenhar. BDM, what about the rest of the top half of the leaderboard, if you will? Well, Ben Stark is someone who got off to a, a rousing start in draft. He went 3-0, as you might expect, uh, and, you know, joked that he was dreading going to the 60 card decks but yeah. you know he's he's got a one and two record thus far in constructed mm -hmm. and so he finds it but he still finds himself in very good position at four and two uh craig wesco stanislav uh, is the other remaining four two and then we have three three threes on that side of the on side of the board stanislav sifka yuya watanabe and willie adel yeah stark so. and sifka played in the last round and they have made a pact that tomorrow they're not going to play modern they're just going to do another modern masters draft <laughs> and they reckon no one will ever know um now it is worth saying that these three and threes do not represent the tie breaks on the leaderboard so don't sure. go don't be confused and think oh this must be the first draft pod and this the second tomorrow morning that'll all come clear tomorrow morning but then we go over to BDM's side of the board. Coincidentally, I hasten to add, what do you got? We got, well, we have two more three and three players. We have Eric Furlick and Josh Shutter Layton. So, uh, again, a one and two, much like uh, Yuya Watanabe, who started out one and two draft, a two one to even the record mm -hmm. uh, from, you know, Remedy, you constructed to Remedy what went wrong in limited. Uh, two and fours, David Ochoa, Shui Nakamura, Tom Martel, Li Shi Tian, and Dmitry Budakov. So, what are the deal with the two and fours? Well, they, have, they have very, very hard work ahead of what them. What do we reckon? Five, one, probably six, zero. Oh? I, I think they need to six, zero oh, if they're going to, if, if any of them is going to top four. Uh, again, the tiebreakers, the cumulative tiebreakers mean don't that help. They, they are in working from behind, very far from behind. Uh, and the person who's really the only person eliminated thus far from mm -hmm. top four contention, uh, and I think one of the great surprises of the weekend thus far, is Martin Hughes at 06. Yeah. I mean, in tight margins, only a few things going wrong kill you. We saw Reed Duke. Reed Duke, right up there at number one, only had one loss. Today's his day. Last year, not so much. Reed now you see Martin down there at 0-6. Now, it's worth saying, you'd normally think, okay, so maybe he won't come back tomorrow, or, you know, he'll just, you know, concede to everyone. Oh, absolutely but not. But wait, 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 wait. And why not? Wait, well, every, every win is worth pro points. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this is, this is the, the, the World Championship is an exclusive outlet for pro points for these 16 players. Yeah. They have access to points that no other player can get, and each win is worth points. And you, Basically, remember, say Martin six O's tomorrow, that's six points, that's like way into the top eight of a GP yeah. he can do tomorrow. Yes. And there are only six people who can a, stop a, him. A, a GP that only he and 15 of his closest friends were allowed to play in. Indeed. So, we come back tomorrow, we play M14, three rounds of draft, and then it will be modern down the stretch. You will not see a world champion crown tomorrow because at the end of 12 rounds, we put the four semi-finalists on ice until Sunday. 
What are we going to do Friday, Saturday, BDM? We have the World Magic Cup. We have 71 countries fielding teams here this weekend. Uh, you know, we have you know the United States with Josh Utter Layton as the captain. We have France with R Hall of Famer Rafael Levy as the captain. We have Japan with Yuya Watanabe, and so on down the line. The top pro from each nation fielding a team of World Magic Cup qualifier winners, three of them, uh, and they're going to play uh, four formats. Uh, I'm sorry, they're going to play three formats across. Uh, two Four days. sections yeah. of Friday and so Saturday. So we're going to see unified team standard. We're going to see team constructed in both uh, Magic 2014 and in Return to Ravnica, which is going to be, to me, very exciting to see how different those two card pools are when you're trying to build three sealed decks. It's going to be amazing. One day is done, there are four still to go in the biggest week of Magic ever. We'll leave you with the news that Reed Duke, Brian Kibler and Shahar Shenhar lead the way at the halfway point in the World Championship. Be here again tomorrow for six more pulsating rounds and we'll be here too. For Brian David Marshall, everyone here at magicthegathering.com, I'm your host Rich Hagen saying bye.